channel. So today's video is going to be about the Babe and Adidas Super Bowl collection. Now I know there's been a little bit of hype around this drop. Even though Babe and Adidas have done quite a few collaborations in the past, the most recent one being the snowboarding collection which I've actually done a video about so if you guys are interested I'll link it down below but this time around it is the Super Bowl collection and this drop consists of a pair of ultra boost football cleats apparel gloves a football as well as a helmet so I think it is a really cohesive collection and I'm really excited about it and this is set to drop tomorrow the 2nd of February but if you're in Atlanta they will be doing a pre-release at a social status pop-up so you guys can check it out but for the rest of us it will be available worldwide on the 2nd of February which is tomorrow anyway let's just get into the collection so I'm gonna start off with the ultra boost so here we have the babe ultra boost so by now we're all really familiar with the ultra boost silhouette because it's been three years since they released the very first ultra boost and back in the day this was a super hype sneaker and every single time they dropped an ultra boost it would sell it immediately but I feel like Adidas kind of killed its own hype because they kept coming out with different variations of the ultra boost they've done a few collabs which I think weren't as successful as they wanted it to be but I feel like this time around I think it was a good choice to go with the ultra boost because it's a well-known silhouette and it's super comfortable in my opinion the ultra boost is probably one of the most comfortable sneakers that that I earned and with it being a big collab I feel like you can't go wrong now there are two colorways for this ultra boost so I have the green camera one but I know they also have like a black and gray camera one I heard that one's a little bit more limited but I did see them listing it on the Adidas website so if you guys are interested you can check that out again I'll leave all the release details in the description bar below so you guys can um, check that out but anyway back to the sneakers you can see that the whole upper is covered in the classic classic babe camo also known as the cloud camo it also has the black cage to go along with the black boost which I think is quite a nice design choice and on the heel here there is the ultra boost lettering in gold which again ties in with the rest of the collection with features pops of gold and when you look at the front of the sneaker on the right side there is the babe logo with the stars and stripe and then on the left it is the adidas logo and that's reflected in the insoles as well so you get the babe printed insoles with the co-branding and then when you take a closer look at the lace tips you can see that on one end it says a bathing ape and then on the other end it says a bathing ape in Japanese one last detail would be on the sole you can see this sort of gold chrome finishing with the torsion system tab whereas a regular ultra boost this is actually the undefeated collab that came out end of last year you can see that it's usually just a little black tab I think it's a nice little small detail and then as usual it has the continental outsole very hot what am I trying to say oh my god I can't forget I'm gonna take off my jacket Ugh. because it is too hot <sighs> we'll talk about this shortly oh, fuck. <sighs> jacket is off <laughs> Now let's get back to sneakers. Overall, I am a fan of these Ultra Boosts. Now I know they're nothing out of this world because Adidas and Babe have done a pair of NMDs in the same camo print and that came out in 2016 and those were super popular because they came out at a time when NMDs were super hyped. At this stage, Ultra Boost isn't exactly a super hyped sneakers but it also is a very iconic silhouette for Adidas so I feel like you can't go wrong. So if you don't already own a pair of Ultra Boosts, I highly recommend picking up a pair of these or even if you're just a babe fan I think you would definitely want to pick up a pair of these now these retail for 380 Australian dollars which again is a little bit steep so in terms of sizing they fit like any other ultra boost so just refer to your regular ultra boost sizing and then you should be good moving on to apparel now we have this football jersey over here and as you guys can see just like the whole collection they all feature this big cloud camo and I think it's really nice and it has the gold accents there's 93 on the front because this is the year that Babe was founded by Nigo. So Nigo is no longer the creative director for Babe. It was sold to a Hong Kong company in 2011. He did remain as a creative director two years after it was sold to that company, but I don't think he is anymore. Um, but yeah, that's what the 93 stands for. And then on the back here, you can see that there is a bathing ape. And then on the shoulders, 
there is the vape logo with the stars and stripes and what's really cool if you look at the stars it is actually the vape logo like when they do the vape star sneakers they have this star on the side of the sneaker and then on the arms there's the three stripes this is kind of like a sort of typical jersey kind of meshy material which i think is really nice and i feel like when i tried this on i really do like the look of it closer to the hand there's this little patch over here and it has the adidas logo as well as the babe logo and then this one is just player id in terms of sizing i would say this is pretty true to size i have this in a size small and it fits me well but i personally like my clothes to fit a little bit more oversized so i would go for a size medium I think so that's the football jersey and then we can move on to the hoodie which I was wearing before but it was way too hot so I had to take it off but here we have the hoodie now this would definitely sell and be a really sought after item this is a shark hoodie and as you guys know the shark hoodie is another very iconic piece of garment for babe as a brand so this design first came out in 2004 and at the moment it's not that hard to get your hands on back in the day babe was a little bit harder to get access to but right now i feel like it has become more of a mainstream brand so i know that you know some people are not really a fan of Babe. The print is very iconic but at the same time it's very loud but I do quite like it. With the hoodie, I have this in a size small and I think it fits really well. I think the quality on this is actually quite good. It is a lined hoodie so you can see on the inside there is like a mesh lining with the same Babe camera print. It also has pockets with zips which I think is really nice and then on the chest here there is a rubberized patch and again it has the same Babe logo with the stars and stripes. On the sleeves there is the adidas logo and the three stripes over here the one thing i have to say though the sleeves are very long and i know that these are men sizing and that's why you know they might be a little bit long for me i'm really used to my clothes being oversized i also think that it's long because that they've included this portion over here where it's like a thumb loop so you can put your thumbs through here but if you don't want it you can always fold it on the inside and that kind of makes the sleeves a bit more of a normal length and then another detail would be on the right sleeve there is the bank logo in gold but overall i think this shark hoodie is really cool and if you don't have access to a bait store or you you know don't already own a big shark hoodie now this is a great opportunity for someone to buy into the brand this retails for $300 which I think it's pretty fair I think it's great quality it's actually quite um, heavy and it's, it's very warm okay because I was wearing it before and it was too hot and then let's move on to the gloves so they also came out with a pair of gloves now I know nothing about American football or Super Bowl or I just don't know much about sports but they did come up with a pair of gloves and there are these ones over here and I think they're really cool I would personally just buy this just to collect it as something to just display because I personally have no use for them but I'm sure they are made with functionality in mind on one surface it's like a rubberized surface on this side and then on the reverse side you can see that there is the Babe logo as well as the Adidas logo and I think they're just really cool like I didn't even think that I would be into this but now that I have them on look at them and then when you put your hands together you can see that is the Babe Shark print as well these retail for 100 Australian dollars I have this in the smaller size which is a size small to medium so I think the gloves are definitely cool and then there's also these sleeves so I'm gonna try this on for you guys and again I have this in a size small to medium let me try this on I'm not sure if the three straps are meant to be on the inside or outside oh hold on I'm wearing this wrong I just saw the illustration on the packaging so you have the three straps on the outside of your arm let me show you guys so I don't know if this is a look but if you play sports you would probably have some use for this it is a little bit big on me this is a small to medium but because it is a men's fit if you're a guy I'm pretty sure this will fit you so you can see that there's the three stripes on the outside and then on the inner arm there is the adidas logo as well as the babe logo so this whole collection is super cohesive and then to go along with the sleeves there's also a pair of leggings I don't have that with me but I feel like they do look really cool so if you do like leggings then you can probably buy that again it is for men's so i have not tried it on because like the fit of it looks like it's cut for men's i could potentially wear the size small 
but I haven't tried it on so I'm not too sure about sizing. So the leggings are actually made of the same material as the sleeve so it's a little bit on the thin side but it is very stretchy so I feel like it would be really comfortable. So if you're after some big leggings then you could probably look into that. They also have a big football which I think it's really cool. It has the same big camel print all over it and some gold detailing. Again, I don't know much about football or sports but personally for me I would just buy it as a display item. Last but not least there is the babe helmet and I think that is such a sick thing to have. Like if you have a spare $800 I would probably pick up the helmet. I heard it's pretty limited and I'm gonna try and get my hands on one of them. I know it's really pricey but again I feel like it's something that they would only come out once. I can't see Adidas ever coming out with another babe helmet so I think it's gonna be something very much a collector's item, something I would just keep on display. Babe is actually one of the OG brands that started doing these lifestyle products. Back in the day, even before Supreme started doing all that stuff, I would say Babe is one of the OG brands who believed in this like lifestyle, like a Babe lifestyle. So they actually had a lot of like lifestyle products like toiletries. I remember they came out with like Babe toilet paper, kitchen utensils, like fishing rods. It was really, really cool. And I don't own any of that stuff, but I just remember like, like Babe was one of the very few brands that started doing lifestyle products so something like a football helmet I think is very in line with the brand to come up with a product that you don't necessarily associate them with creating like a Babe branded helmet but I think it's just really cool and as part of this collection I think it ties everything together. Overall I am a huge fan of this collection and I think everything's really cohesive. I think it's cool that they came up with like the helmet as well as the football because I don't think I've seen... Has Adidas done anything like that? I don't think I've seen Adidas do anything similar in terms of having like a lifestyle product. So I think it's really cool how they incorporated that as part of the collection. Um, I know not everyone is a huge fan of the big camera print, but again, I feel like it is such an iconic print for the brand and incorporating into it, it makes it super recognizable that it is Babe. And with the shark hoodie as well, again, this is going to be super popular. So if you can get your hands on one of these, I highly recommend that you do. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this collection. I'll leave all the release details in the description bar below as always. And if you guys are in Australia, this will be available at Sneaker Boy tomorrow at 10 a.m. So make sure you guys don't miss out if you're interested. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys really really soon. Bye! Be about the Adidas and Babe. No, Babe and Adidas. It's the same shit! Hey guys, welcome back to my... I was gonna say welcome back to my collection. What the hell? Hey guys, welcome back to my... I keep wanting to say collection! So I'm gonna start off with this. Oh my god, I keep forgetting to tell you guys when it releases. I keep saying popular. I need another word. Overall, I am a pair... I'm a pair of Ultra Boost. What? <laughs> Overall, I am a fair, fair. Overall, I am a pair. I'm a pair. I keep saying I am a pair of NMDs. What is wrong with me?